Afternoon, thanks for joining us here at four o'clock. The man accused of killing a teenager and leaving her body behind an apartment building appeared in court today it was the second time this week. Our Karen Campbell was in that courtroom and she joins us live with the very latest. Karen, we know it was another emotional mm. day for the family of that teen. Yeah, you can, we rather can only imagine what they are going through and what they will be going through. So the family of, again, 15-year-old Janaya Carr, her mom, her aunt, they appeared in Judge Osborne's courtroom earlier today. They laid eyes on the man accused of killing her. Now, the judge ordered 36-year-old Tevis uh, Walker to be held on no bond until his jury trial, which is scheduled for next year. Now, Demetria Brown, that's Janaya Carr's mom, she, her sister, and her family attorney all sat inside the courtroom. They've been waiting for answers as to why this happened. And just to bring the viewers up to speed, police say on the morning of October 28th, Walker shot and killed Janiah and left her body in a tree line at the Carriage House East Apartments. That's where Janiah and her mom lived. It's also where Walker lived and worked as a maintenance man. According to court documents, Walker told police he took Janiah to pick up an iPad from someone and then drove her back home. In court, when the judge asked if Walker had any financial responsibilities, he answered yes and that he had three kids under the age of 18. It was those comments that drew a wave of emotion from Janai's mother. I just hurt for them, you know, because me hating him forever would definitely not bring my baby back. But the fact of knowing that kids, I don't even know what to say. Yeah, just at a loss for, for words right there. Now, the family, they are also putting out a call to meet the woman who discovered Janiah's body as she was walking her dog. Again, at the Carriage House East Apartments, that woman immediately told authorities and uh, Demetria Brown, she just wants to either have a phone call with her or she says if the woman doesn't want to be identified, she just wants to, she said, sincerely thank her. Now, if found uh, guilty, Walker could face a maximum of 60 years in prison. His jury trial is set for February of next year. Dustin, Felicia. All right, Karen Campbell, live from Indianapolis. Thank you. Yeah, you could just feel her grief mm -hmm. through the screen.